welcome back to the Journalistic Revolution. In this next segment, we're going to talk about good news for us. Uh, there's a new, or not a new poll, it came out uh, a little while ago, I think in September, that 60% uh, uh, of Americans, an all-time high, uh, do not trust mass media or mainstream media to be accurate or fairly report the news. Now, this isn't... <laughs> This isn't uh, We're sixty. Smiling. But this, <laughs> this isn't uh, sixty percent of um, uh, neocons or liberals. This is sixty percent of them across the board. They don't uh, trust. Now, this is extremely uh, high because uh, in a positive feedback, in, in, during the nineteen seventies. The people trusted the media when they were polled. It was 72% mm -hmm. of the country trusted the media to report the facts. Um, then Gallup found that almost half believed that the mainstream media had a liberal bias. Uh, only 26% felt that they could trust the media to accurately report the news of Republicans. Uh, and that was in 2004. Only 26% of the Republicans felt like they could trust the news, um, and they thought that it had a liberal bias. Over half, though, believed uh, that aren't just Republicans, believed that there was a liberal bias. And then, um, now the guy who did Gallup, he, he did a video, we're going to link it, um, but I guess he thinks it's all liberal bias. Yeah, uh, and, and he's a Fox News contributor. I've seen him on Fox News. Um, I can't necessarily say where if if he's ever been on MSNBC or CNN, but he is a contributor nonetheless, and he basically is in charge of the Gallup poll, and he he's very critical of the liberal media, so you know there is a little bit of bias on his part. We're going to link the video anyways because the regardless of his bias, he's still fairly reported the the facts of the poll. And where people are just fed up. John Stewart is more trusted to give you the news than Fox, MSNBC, or CNN. Yeah. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> the reason you're watching us is because you can't trust the news, which yeah. is great for us. Please subscribe right up there at the button. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> but it's, Actually, I think it's over here. Uh, where? But the fact is, is we're, 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 we're glad to know that... 60% of Americans are finally seeing what we've been saying all along. They may not agree with us. They may not think that what we're saying is the correct solution, but we're starting to recognize there's a problem. Mm -hmm. And, and you got to remember the news business, right? Journalism business is the only business that is protected by our constitution. Yep. And I think that they should lose their protection status if they're not going to be accurately reporting the facts because now they're entertainment. And entertainment is not protected. It, it's kind of like when wrestling had to take the word sport out of out of the, their name because they weren't an actual sport. They were entertainment. They weren't real. And because they're not real, they had to relabel themselves as entertainment. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the same, you know, and those rules are set up for a reason. We can argue regulation, you know, left and right, but those rules are set up for a reason. And if, if the mainstream media isn't going to follow their own rules... And, and here's the difference. They're protected under the Constitution. Wrestling is just a business. They're protected under the Constitution for reporting facts. If they're not going to report facts and nobody can trust them, well, then they just need to lose that status. Exactly. And, and the best way to give an example, I think, for that is that um, if Fox wants to still have their opinion news, they need to become the Fox Entertainment Network. Uh, if uh, CNN wants to still report opinionated news, then they need to become CNE. <laughs> you know, and, and and they need to stop false advertising themselves as an unbiased, factual news organization. Yeah, I mean, I once heard O'Reilly say that he's an opinion, you know, columnist kind of position. He's not there to report the news, and I've heard him say that. There's a difference between your local news at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 6 o'clock or whatever, or even uh, we'll, like here we have in Orlando, Florida, we have the Channel News 13. It is a 24 hours news network, but they don't get into opinions at all. When you start posturing opinion on a, new, on a 24 hour news network, 
at some point you have to be held accountable. It's sensationalizing. Yeah. They sensationalize the news. You know what made the news sensational back in the day? Sensational news! That's what made... Holy crap, something blew up. Oh my God, this guy did something great. Oh my God, we're going to war. That's sensational. Snooki having a baby shouldn't have a flash and some music behind it to let you know like yeah. it's something important. Yeah, and you know, and that's kind of like what why we created what we do is we got tired of the mainstream media passing over news completely. Blackballing Ron Paul. Important stuff. I mean, not just Ron Paul, but I mean, Iran, um, not covering TSA, Taser. I mean, these things are very important. Um, those things should be sensationalized. Those things should be reported on. And there's plenty to cover that they could be reporting on. And if, if you, the people, actually saw what we see on a daily basis while researching, even the stuff that we don't cover, if the news media would cover that stuff, you would be appalled at what you see. But what you don't see is they, they, they sensationalize unimportant things that mean nothing. And then give a 5 to 30 second uh, segment about something very, very important. And, 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 and then they propagandize a lot of it. I mean, the bottom line is, is they use their opinion to, to accentuate their, their bias and, and cause a, a false story. I mean, for Christ's sakes, Fox is red, MSNBC is blue. I mean, how much more <laughs> in your face bias do you have to get? I, 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 everything, like you watch MSNBC and it's blue background, blue signs, blue lettering, blue. You watch Fox, red, red, red. And then in Fox is, you know, Republican agenda, Republican agenda. And MSNBC is Democratic agenda, Democratic agenda. When did the news start having an agenda? But Thomas Jefferson said in a letter that the only reason that the news was protected by the Constitution is because it was supposed to be constantly keeping an eye on the government, keeping them honest, informing the public about the, the shortfallings of our government. Yeah. That's what they were there for. That's why they were protected, so the government can never go after them. We have told our biases on several occasions, um, but we tell you, and we, and we, we enforce... We don't enforce our beliefs on you. We enforce the belief that you should do your own research. What we mean by that is, is when we're biased, we tell you, like in the Gary Johnson yeah. episode we did, you know, we were like, hey, we're going to be biased today. You want to know why? Because we like Gary Johnson. And right yeah. now we're being biased. I'm not being biased. I'm reporting the facts to you. The fact is no. that 60% of you <laughs> agree with me that the news is is, is lying to you, that they can't be trusted. 60% of you, that's a fact. True. And all I'm saying is thank you. Thank you. And tune in for the next time. <laughs>